Uh, okay. Ask Akram uh, how, how it is for Akram to see Rich here talking about his story. Uh, uh, Richard Giri or Sam Yagjo uh, Yeah, I, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that uh, so for the first time I face to face meet with Mr. Rich Giri and also Sam Richard and also the students in this big class. And I'm so glad. Chizike Shunidom Arfoe Ogai Giri. خاطرات به یاد ما آمد که می خواهیم عرفای داشته باشم I heard uh, the, the story which uh, uh, Rich Gary's uh, uh, told uh, from our uh, relation and also activity in Afghanistan and I, uh, uh, and I remember some of the nice uh, uh, um, experience and also story that uh, I want to share with you. Uh, the international the international sports in Afghanistan was have uh, a common thing like uh, uh, to, to work, to fight, uh, uh, like... Uh, shoulder, to shoulder. Yeah, shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, shoulder to shoulder, yeah. This is a lot of work for us. Yeah, that's a lot of comment. We are together with each other. We are together with each other in different areas. Yeah, we sit together and we plan for what to do. Uh, 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 we plan this together according to the character, the, to the tribes, and the, all the things. Yeah, we see all the things that we plan to work. Well, well, what was really important for us, we invite people to not fight against the government and uh, we work together and uh, to bring people. Hey, wait, the, hang the on. Side. What was Rich like in Afghanistan? What was it like working with Rich in Afghanistan? در راست بگه تجربه شخصی دارم از کار کردن با آقای ریل چی بود در پارستان و محصیریتشان در پارستان چی گونه بود؟ ما گیری در منصبدار بسیار قوی است و ما یک جمله را در, در برابر گیری استفاده کردیم تو او به گیری تکرار است اما به دوستایی که میشنون جدید است ما به گیری یک جمله گفتیم Okay, Rafi. Uh, yeah, he is a strong and expert soldier, and uh, I always call him one of the uh, one of the. Uh, um, uh, I, I I was call him uh, a specific name, so I told him in Afghanistan, but today. I share with you the, this, this, you know, a specific name for the Mr. Regeri. Uh, 
yeah, uh, uh, I want to, yeah, the, the, the people of America to be proud that uh, American has a, a model, a model and uh, so, you know, this model is just born a uh, son, and his son's name is Richard Gary. Yeah. Awesome, man. Awesome. Hang on. Hey, hey, I, so I have another question for you, Rafi. Um, so you were, that's a really, tell Akram that that's a really nice thing. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, enjoy it. از از مسائل عملیاتی که دست به صلاب و برادم نه بلکه زیادتر تمرکز سر مسائل خدمت به مردم ارائه خدمات و آگاهی زیاد میتونست ما را کمک بکنه در مسائل امنیت در سایه مسئولیت ما yeah because he was so strong and he was so professional uh, 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 besides of the you know military and also in fighting with the social uh, connection with the people and uh, also to to and and uh, socialize with the people so that will be help uh, me and and my team and also the people to be uh, uh, most friendly with, with the army and, and, and everything will be, uh, you know, solved, the problem will be solved. Yeah, so listen, hey, uh, so Rafi, thanks for that. Um, I think that what I, what I, what I want to emphasize to my class is that what he said was what is so important is what this soldier who is there we imagine that the soldier is there to fight. But in fact, this soldier was there. What was so notable about him was the way he was able to work with and socialize with the people and be with the people because he knew that in the end, when the fighting is over, people have to get along. They have to work together. And like, that's not a thing. It's a, it's a level of wisdom that oftentimes is missed in these sort of Hollywood theatrical productions of war. Um, hey, Rafi, I have a question for you. Um, so you've been in Soch 119. First off, my friend, it's really lovely to see you. I remember the, uh, man, I, I'm gonna, just seeing you here. Uh, I remember the day that we didn't think we were going to get you out and I, I cried um, tears that I had not, I had never cried before. Um, and uh, because I just, I thought I was gonna lose my friend. And um, because, yeah, so it's so amazing to see you on the screen. So, um, yeah, so I just wanna say that to you. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, you've been in Social 119 and what what do you what do you what do people need to know? It's if you could just in a couple minutes about about Afghanistan and about about Afga the Afghan people, right? And then I'm going to ask Rich to also respond to this. What do we need to know about you? Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, um, I would like to thank Mr. Uh, Sam for giving me and uh, my colleague the opportunity to be in the class. And uh, hello, uh, uh, my friend, Rich Gary. It's, uh, to, it's nice to meet you again. Uh, you know, the topic, uh, uh, Sam, the topic for uh, today's class is uh, uh, um, evacuation uh, uh, of Afghanistan and the situation of August 2021. And the, the dramatic fall of the Kabul in 2021, in August 2021, and reestablishment of the Taliban government, uh, you know, resulted in the end of two decades of the progresses, social development, and the rule of law. So, for this reason, causing of 
individual, including many professionals like, like my team and other people to fly from Afghanistan. And among these people in August 2021 are my family and my colleagues are. So however, uh, uh, I remember at that time the decision to take a uh, fly from Afghanistan was very difficult to leave. And also because uh, uh, we had a family, we had everything in Afghanistan. And, uh, but uh, 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 we went out to survive because as you mentioned before, we are the main target of the Taliban at that time. And I appreciate it for everyone, especially for you, Reg Gary and, and Serge and all teams to helping me, my, my colleagues, my family to get out. And now we are say, in safe place. And uh, you know, Sam, every time I remember August 2021, I got shocked. Mm. I remember how did I take myself to the airport from the Taliban checkpoint in Herat provinces. For the first day when the Taliban take the control of Herat, while my family and children stay in Herat, and I could not take them with me. And also I remember with the time when I decided with difficult, the difficulty that my family and children will come to Kabul by road with the serious risk for the two day traveling. Yeah. And I still remember, you know, the time when my wife and two children tried to enter the airport together with Mr. Uh, with this respect General Saib Akram. We tried for three days to enter in the Kabul airport. Even thought we had a document, but our effort was unsuccessful. But finally we entered in the airport. And I still remember, as you mentioned, that the time when we, when the Belgian comes military soldier decided to take me and my family after four day hard, you know, uh, 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 trying to get in airport to out as from airport, just because of their lack of the internal co coordination. Yeah. Our airport team with the Belgian military, Belgian embassy in Islamabad. So at that time, I remember you, I, I remember that time, it, it was night, I think. Yeah. You, Rich Gary and, and, and Lori and also Serge and all family are just working, just, just they, they're trying to, to find some solution for this. And I appreciated that. I yeah. really appreciated that. Yeah, you, know, you were, you are, our, yeah, you're our friend. Yeah. In the but end, he, the, one of the solutions was because yeah, Serge yeah. had an I old drinking the, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I saw the picture. I saw the picture, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, one, one, the, but listen, the, Rafi, we have just 30, we have 30 seconds because Rich is going to get the last word in here. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, just a final, uh, um, final word for, for, the, for, for all of my colleagues. Uh, you know, now we, are, now we, the, we have the experience of the living in Axel. And uh, one of my wish for all the people to want to know, sh never uh, should ever for the force to leave the people from the original homeland. Mm. And no one should be disadvantaged of the leaving for their homeland. Yeah. The experience is difficult, especially for those who had dreamed for the future. And we had dreamed for future. And we built, we, we start 20 years ago to, to build everything, but, but everything's just, you know, yeah. destroyed in, in, in one week. You know that all those wish can be fulfilled when we all speak out and raise the wise for peace in a state of war. Yeah. Because war is destroy everything. Yeah. And uh, you know, you see now in Afghanistan, yeah. And we lost everything. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Rafi. Yeah. Yeah, Rich. Hey, Rich. Yeah. Rich, can you say, just you got in 30 seconds, what did you learn about Afghans 
in Muslims that you just wish people would know about these, about these people, right? What do, what do we need to know? I think, uh, you know, my first experience in Afghanistan and with the Muslims I had in my head, you know, I categorized them all into one, one category. The people of Afghanistan, they had attacked, you know, our country. It was driven by their religion. And that's not true. And it's not true in Afghanistan or Iraq and some other places I've been. There's always small factions of people that are willing to misrepresent, exploit, and do bad things. But the majority of people are good people. They just want to have families and, and do good things. You just have to look past the bad representation and find the goodness in people. Because it's out there in every country and every religion. It's all there.